The race for the playoffs continues this weekend when the Ospreys welcome Glasgow Warriors to the Liberty Stadium on Sunday afternoon. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Hugh Gustafsson and Paul James. Here the boys had a disappointing outcome on Saturday against Munster. What's the review process been like? You know, what, are you looking into it, and what how, what are the learnings from the game? Yeah, I think it was a tough game to lose, but that much um, close game to the end. Um, I think majority was really good, but like the coach just spoke about, it's one of two instances in a tight game like that and won't go your way. So we would have to look at tightening our game up. Just those one or two minutes of a game of rugby to win the full game, and it's a big opportunity for us against Glasgow top team table. Talk about Glasgow champions two years ago. Always a difficult team in any occasion probably one of the ones who hit the most even more than us when it comes to international call up so you never know quite know what team you're going to play this time of the year and then, but you know it's going to be difficult yeah you never know who they're going to play that's a, that's a surprise you can't really code people who don't play often but then they've got a great squad and they, the way they play they like to play a bit of running rugby whoever the 15 is on the side, on the field of the day so we've got to prepare ourselves for a game of rugby and we had a good win up there in November again to the international window so really it's a case of look at that and more of the same boys it's more of the same but also they've got a point to prove as well they don't want to go 2-0 against us in a league match so we're looking at now is keeping our uh, keeping our what we work at well and then work on the next shows then throughout the week and this time of the year ok we lost a Munster but we won it the week before we've got two more games to come so if you could go three wins from four during the Six Nations period that puts you in a pretty good position when the reinforcements return from the Vale in the end of March yeah like it's the boys are way work and they've got games to play but we got to work as a tight squad here we've got two games now so far they've got to go and then we look forward to winning those two games help us in the league and when those boys do come back they can push on then to the finals and for yourself personally it's been a bit stop start you've had a couple of games at the start of the season you've been involved in Anglo-Welsh and British and Irish Cup but on standby now with Sam also leaving the field with the HIA at the weekend so are you ready to go for it if the call comes? Yeah, you always have to be there. It's just a large squad, though. The intensity training throughout the week is like having a game, so we'll, we don't muck about. We train flat out with contact, with line up prep. And no matter if you're playing 1 to 15, when you're not even involved in the squad, you've got to do your job. So I'm looking forward to it. And how are you enjoying your time with the regionals? You arrived in the last summer. How's it going for you? Uh, the last six months, I think I've learned the most I've done in a long time. So I'm learning, keeping my toes in new defensive systems, I'm learning. So as a 30 year old pro, it's been, uh, even now, I'm learning new things, so it's been really enjoyable. Join the Ospreys in the playoff race as 2015 champions Glasgow Warriors come to the Liberty Stadium this weekend. Make sure you are there to support the cause. Tickets are available from the ticket office and online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Remember, if you bought a ticket for the Munster game last weekend, you're entitled to a half price ticket for this game. Just log into your account online and take advantage of this great offer. Our in DJ will be playing a selection of songs chosen by supporters and listeners of Swansea Bay Radio ahead of the game. Tune in all week for your chance to select a song which can be chosen for the players to warm up to ahead of kickoff on Sunday. This week we have 35% off 2016-17 Ospreys jackets in the club shop. Pop in store to check the extensive range and to grab yourself a bargain. What's more, season members, you can claim a 10% discount on top of the existing offer price. The club shop will be open post-match on Sunday, so there's no excuse to miss out on this offer, which ends midnight on the 27th. Terms and conditions apply. Watch Sunday's match in style with 25% off executive suites. There's very limited availability, so book your tickets now with premium balcony seating, a Sunday lunch menu, private cash bar, match day programmes and interaction with the Ospreys players. A 10-seater box comes in at just £59 per person plus VAT, so call 01792 now to secure your seat for the playoff race. Paul, talk us through last Saturday, the frustrations at the end of that game. What was the mood in the camp back and sat in that changing room after that loss to Munster? Yeah, there was only one feeling of uh, disappointment, you know. Um, We've we done a lot of good things. We put a good few points in them and then we land back in the game. They say all winning runs have to come to an end and the test of a good team is going on another winning run after it. So is that the challenge now to bounce back from that and 
continue with the form we were showing leading into the game against Munster? Yeah, you know, uh, there was a lot of good things we've done in Munster, so we just need to keep keep those things and momentum going forward. Um, we, you know, we'll, we'll review the game and see what areas we can sharpen up on, but, you know, it's important that we move on quickly um, and get ready for Glasgow. Glasgow, Sunday at the Liberty Stadium, a team who've probably had a, had something over us in recent seasons. We haven't, we haven't done a double over them since 2009. We won up there in November. The challenge now is to follow that up this weekend and do the same again. Yeah, you know, with Glasgow, they got a they got a niggly pack and then they got back saying who can do a bit of damage. So, um, you know, it's just important for us to, to look at ourselves, sharpen up on things that went wrong last week and then just get our plan in place ready for Glasgow. We're looking to bounce back from one defeat. They've lost the last couple, so they'll know they'll be desperate to keep their playoff chase in the hand. So it's got the building of another great encounter. Yeah, hopefully, you know, uh, whenever Glasgow turn up, it's always a tough, uh, it's a tough challenge. So um, just looking forward to it as a, as a pack, really, and getting out there. And the good thing, I know you don't want to look too far ahead, but if you are looking to end the season in playoffs, we've got four other teams between second and sixth to play the season three of them at the Liberty Stadium so our destiny is in our own hands we're not chasing as we have done in previous seasons No but you know as as a bunch of players we just got to focus on each game as it comes so starting off this week um, with Glasgow obviously it's great to have three of those big games at the Liberty Stadium so uh, hopefully the fans can get behind us That's all for now. Don't forget, tickets for Sunday's game are available to buy from all the usual outlets. And if you bought a Munster ticket, you can get a Glasgow ticket for half price. Just log into your account at ospreysrugby.com, buy tickets to take advantage of this fantastic offer.